Hello guys and welcome to my channel. For those of you who want to know how Biobapu kitchen looks like, today I'm going to be showing you the inside and how it looks like. Most hostel kitchens in federal universities in Nigeria are not usually as neat as you think they are, but I'm going to be showing you today Biobapu's kitchen and how it looks like. Please stay tuned while we go around. Thank you. So people have asked me to show them how Biobapu's kitchen looks like and this is because they believe that it is the hostel with the best kitchen. So please stay tuned while we watch. So my camera is being turned on and I'm about to enter Biobapu's kitchen. First of all, we can see the gate or the door. We can see that it's really wide open for everyone who wants to cook. I can as well say that the floor is usually very neat. Although there are gates but they are usually open because Students most of the time come to cook, but at this moment the exam is ongoing so people hardly want to cook, they rather buy food. Or not just that, uh, they are busy reading or writing exam or maybe they cook early in the morning. Let me take that as a yes. Biobaku Hall has cleaners which usually clean the kitchen as well as the environment itself. In order to encourage or improve the cleanliness in the kitchen, the waste bin basket or bucket is being kept at the entrance of the door of the kitchen so that used waste material will be kept in there. Alright, since hot plates are the most important electrical appliances or devices used in the kitchen, therefore the wholesale facility manager has made sure that working sockets are being installed close to the slabs so as to ensure that students use their hot plate properly, although don't mind this part of the slab. And if you intend to count the number of sockets per each side of the slab, you discover that there are about 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sockets at the right. I would actually ask you also not to mind the paintings on the wall because the hostel is filled with various people of different levels and different courses. And also, counting at the other side also, you discover that there are also four at the left. So we can assume that a minimum of eight people can cook in this particular kitchen. You don't have to worry about when it will get your turn to cook because there are always kitchen in every floor of Biobaku and there are three floors minus the ground floor. And we can see useful tabs here where we can wash our plates or fetch water to put in our pots and it has great or good drainage i can say that so no one you don't have to walk up and down looking for where to fetch your time also the ceiling might ha need one or two maintenance but it has enough um lights to brighten the whole kitchen usually at night so that's not a problem at all talking about the view from the kitchen this is view, um viewing the hostel itself it's really not bad and if you're a, a photographer or graphics designer you might see it looking something interesting so it's not really bad like that and if you permit me to explore other parts of the kitchen such as the window then please come along with me so apart from your bed and uh, the shower of the hostel the window of the Biobaku kitchen is actually one place that people love to stay, although it's usually not crowded and that's why I like it. The reason being that from there you can see uh, the Fibin Hostel, you can see it over there and not just that it has a field and we, apart from that we can see a borehole or water storage, we can look down where we spread our clothes or wash clothes sometimes. And if you are really conversant with the hostels in Unilag, you discover that that's over there is Amina Hall and we can actually see it from the Biobaku kitchen. That's not all, because apart from the view from the Biobaku kitchen, we can say that the breeze that comes through the window or this place I'm looking at is so wonderful. It's like breeze like never before. The altitude and the temperature and everything is so cool that people even come around to stay when they just finish having their bath. Oh, maybe that's one thing I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. So as not to waste your time, we're going to stop here for today. So guys, if you've not liked and subscribed to my channel, I would like you to do so because we're going to explore the female hostels, we're going to go to the Senate building, go to various faculties of the University of Lagos. Thank you and see you in the next video.